Hey, what's up? <laughs> hmm. Not getting any game. I well, I'm also not getting the game. That would uh probably help me out a bit if I uh, captured the game. Oh my god, that is that's large. That is large and in charge. I probably should have been better prepared for all this. There we go. Now, I'm not getting any game audio, despite the fact that it... I only, or did I close off the app I needed? I might have done that, actually. That might be the problem. And for some reason, it's not... Oh. There we go. And now I have to open up the volume mixer. Because you can't do that on the left... <laughs> you can't do that on the left monitor for some reason. Okay, so just give me a second to... Uh... Oh, we're getting windy. Okay, so game could be louder. Let's see, maybe about here. Oh, I'll do it like half a half a decibel more. All right, checking, checking. All right, it seems like we're good. Spend all tabs now. Okay, I'm not hearing it. Oh, that's because I muted it. I'm a moron. Okay, oh, I didn't want to continue the game. But I clicked back in, and that continued the game. Help me, get me out of here. Oh, there we go, quit. You just have to be like, we're, we're running Mario 64 rules where you have to be on the ground. Okay, one more thing I gotta do, because this game is weird with frame rates. It's currently running at 48, which will not do. Just will not suffice for me. See, for some reason, when you're running at a 144 monitor, it doesn't want to, uh go to 60 frames, so... I may have to restart the game. Oh no, wait, it's running at 60. It says it's running at 60 now, okay. So I'll probably have this off, this little doodad off in the corner. You can't see it, but I can. Probably gonna have this little frame doodad off in the corner. So I can make sure 
that my frames remain good. Alright, and just to be sure, my microphone isn't crackling out right now. Because that's a problem. Th that's a problem I was having, but... I'm gonna assume that we're good on that front. I didn't hear anything personally, but tell me once we get in the game. So last time on Crash Bandicoot... I'm unaware of the situation. If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. Crash, crash, crash! The battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Also, that would be a uh... Jimmy Nutrin, I believe. So, Crash 2 might look similar to the first Crash. You can do this now. And crouch and make Crash crawl like a baby. So, last time I was playing a Crash game, I was playing the Insane Trilogy version of the original on my Switch, but now that I have a better computer, I can uh, play the full version, the full HD version. Crap. I don't think it matters in this level, though. I think this is just an intro level. Also, I have my window open because our air conditioning broke. Tell me if that creates a bunch of obnoxious noise. Crash Bandicoot. Welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. All right, so Crash 2, no world map. You got this hub world now. <clears throat> you can go to the levels in any order you want. So basically, I was going to stream Commander Keen. I was considering, at least. But see, I basically, I had a hard drive failure recently. And... All of my emulators were on that drive, so I have yet to reinstall everything that I need. So Keen was just going to take too much preparation. I'll try to have that ready for next time, and maybe we can do Keen then. The Crash Strut. So anyway, Dr. Cortex has told us to go get the crystals, and uh, you know, I don't think we have any reason not to trust him. He's, he's a pretty stand-up guy. <laughs> Owen Wilson armadillo. So yeah, I mainly wanted to try and get a better PC before I played the second game because... You know, there's some visual effects in this one that I just, I wanted to have. That the Switch version cut out because it's the Switch version. So similar rules to the first game still apply. Uh, break as m all the crates if you can help it. 
you know, still got the mask, still got all that stuff. It's basically Crash 1, but we got more moves. We're stronger than we once were. We are a better Crash now. Checkpoint in the bonus room, which is a rarity. Probably do need to get one up, so we just started. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I could make that. And I was leaning towards, no, you, I can't make that. So if you slide and then jump, you get more height. Can't believe Dustin is a graphics guy. I mean, hey, I, I like graphics. You know, when I can get them. And I don't know. I guess my stance on the whole graphics thing is... Like, it comes down to, like, I think ports and stuff. Like, I'm not going to, you know, like, obviously rag on Mario Odyssey for not looking like a PS4 game or something. That being said, though, since Crash is, like, a multi-platform, I like to, you know, I like to go for the best one if I can ever help it. And yeah, I, I'm aware you're joking, but I figured I'd clarify. I figured I'd clarify my stance on it. Just because why not? I gotta, you know, I gotta talk about something. You gotta keep... Gotta say words. That's what a stream is. You just gotta keep saying words. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't the bonus. This is the bonus. That was a, a different type of bonus. So yeah, still got it. Like I said, if you watched my Crash One stream or know about Crash One in any other respect, you you know pretty much what to expect. Like the structure is very similar to Crash One. It's you know, they didn't fix too much of what wasn't broken. So, the main difference is that obviously, instead of just like beating the level, we have to collect a, cor uh, a crystal for Dr. Cortex. I mean, maybe. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so you, you're supposed to fall in this pit and I did. Yeah, so you can fight these, but there there are ways to bypass it because it's just kind. Of, it's not very hard, and it's kind of just a waste of time. Let me see if I can do it. Oh, maybe they fixed it for the remake. I don't know, or I'm just doing it wrong. Either way, we'll probably get another chance to try it. Now, hang on, hang on. I came in here for something, but I can't remember what it was. Like this portal, like I went into that portal for, for some reason. Oh, I'm missing a crate. I wonder where that crate is. Alright, so we'll go back in there. Crystals, got it. And hopefully we can, uh... Figure out where that, uh... Where that box I missed was. The water looks very good in this level, in the HD version. Very, very swampy and jungly, like it, like it should be. It makes sense for it to be that way.
Oh. Might have to restart. Depends on if I can get a jump off of that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart. Can I, uh, can I just die and get a checkpoint on this one? Not fair, the, the the nitro jumped. Oh yeah, I I failed to I failed to even mention the nitro boxes. I forgot they were new to this game. Yeah, nitro boxes. Instant death if you touch them. Well, well, maybe. They I, they might not kill you if you have uh, Aku Aku, which is the name of the mask, if I never clarified. Don't know if I ever said that during Crash 1. Are you gonna 100% the game? Gonna try. Gonna try. And yeah, I, I'll probably try the relics on my own time. But since they were something the remake added and not part of the original game, I might not bother with it for the stream. That being said, I'll try to do them once I get to Crash 3. Because they were originally a part of that game. So I, I feel like it, it feels right to do them in that instance. that uh the volume mixer is going to block the chat so i hope this didn't screw up the frame rate no it's still at 60 but yeah i'm running this game full screen because that's the only way to get it to run at 60 on my monitor otherwise it'll run at 48 time work relics work a lot better in this game than they do in crash one i believe it i believe it because you can do like Stuff like this, probably. Oh, and yeah, that's another that's another benefit of having the better computer. Even if you're not like a super big, oh, super big graphics guy, uh, Switch ran at 30 frames, and this runs at 60. So that's oh, I see I see the box I missed. Probably. There we go. Yeah, I think they might have patched it out. I think, like, in the original game, you could go, like, on the... the side of the area and skip that. Alright, so... What was it that Dr. Cortex wanted? A glass of milk from the store? Well, I don't know if there's one anywhere near here. I think I saw a Walmart off in the distance. I'm, I'll have to ask Coco about that. There we go, now we have it. Absolutely disgusting. He didn't do that in the original. Oh, we get we get to see his dance though. Look up at the doorway. There is a big crystal shaped slot. Fill all five crystal slots in this warp room by retrieving one crystal from each of the five areas. Only after we have filled all of the slots in this room can we continue on our quest. The 
This is the last time I remind you. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that now. He has he has a, a few voice clips. Like you can continue doing that, and Cortex will just get like more and more upset. <laughs> All right, so there's another crystal you can get in this level that you get by doing the opposite of what j that does. Or the opposite of what I just did. So, you break no crates in order to get the secret crystal. However, that only applies to this level. It does not apply to, to any others. That, I mean, that would be an interesting way to do it, but that's not the case. So we're gonna go through one more time without breaking any crates. Just not even gonna use the spin move at all. Okay, now here's where here's where it becomes a problem, but you can kind of just bounce on that one, and it doesn't count as breaking it. Yeah, I mean crash games can be a little cryptic. I mean, hey, it was a PS1 era platformer. You know, game, games were still cryptic a lot of the time. You know, they they had that they, you know, those little things in there before the internet came along, probably to sell strategy guides. If you think that's bad, Crash 3 has a couple that's even that are even worse than that. And anybody who's played through Crash 3 knows what I'm talking about, but I'll. I won't spoil it for now, for anybody who doesn't know. Sorry, just checking my webcam. If you ever see me like doing that, like like trying to not move my head and just like turn my eyes really far. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to check the webcam without moving my my head too much. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Are you there, Crash? 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 Are you there, Crash? Are you there, Crash? <sighs> no, I think you have the wrong number, Sister Dearest. Okay, let's save. This one's made of stone rather than wood. All right, so snow go. There's a secret route in this level that we can't do yet. So yeah, snow level, this is a first for Crash. With, with few exceptions, most of Crash 1 was jungle or laboratory or factory of some kind. But we're getting out of the jungle a little bit for this one. I mean, hey man, you, you do, like, you do you. you. You prioritize what you think you need to. Also, Crash controls very badly on the ice. I don't think this will come as a shock to anyone. So you see the reflections in the ice? This is one of the big things I was talking about that wasn't present in the Switch one. The PC version and PS4 and then probably Xbox One have reflections in the ice, but Switch does not because, I mean, they had to make some concessions somewhere and that does make sense. But I like them. I like the reflections. They make me feel, they make me feel good. They release the serotonin. Hoop. You may you may hear like cars passing by a little bit. 
I'm surprised they haven't made a Switch Pro, honestly. Like, I thought with the Switch Lite coming out that that would have been a, a sure thing, but apparently not. Honestly, I'm cool with them just pulling a Sony and Microsoft and releasing, like, an incremental Switch upgrade. Because I'm, I'm still cool with the Switch. I, I'd like to keep that going for a little while. I mean, I said pull a Sony and Microsoft, but technically Nintendo themselves did it with the new 3DS. Which isn't new anymore, so hey, cool name, guys. Absolutely fabulous. Alright, so, <clears throat> little, little fun fact. In the original version of the game, the red crystal that you were able to collect was visible right there. And you may ask, why, why is it not there anymore, Dustin? Because with with clever positioning, of, oh there it is. With with clever positioning of Crash, you could like do a trick which allowed you to like jump over and then get raised up in the air just enough to collect it without having to actually do the secret route. So basically, in order to prevent that, they moved the crystal up a bit. Which, I mean, I, I get it. Kind of lame, though. Yeah, basically, if you crouch and then jump at any point, Crash gets a little bit more air time, which is very useful for jumps you're not sure of. Probably should have used it there. Thankfully, you can you can try again as many times as you need to. They're they're very generous with the bonus. Yeah, uh, the Wumpa Fruit noise is probably like in the top ten most satisfying video game sound effects. Another one would probably be uh, Pac-Man eating the pills. And uh, picking up, uh, picking up items in Minecraft. Well, you know the 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 pellets, the whatever you want to call them. They're like an abstract. They're they're an abstract representation of Pac-Man's fractured psyche. Whatever that means. Oh. <laughs> I'm dropping a couple frames when I when I was going over there. Not many, but enough to kind of throw me off. There's a car passing by. That's the that's the peril of having your window open, but I I feel like we might just have to deal with it because if I had the if I had the window closed right now I'd be drenched in sweat, you know. You know how it would be. I mean if if the frame drops keep going, it it might be because of OBS and there's probably Probably some things I could try. How even more powerful even was the new 3DS? Apparently enough to run Xenoblade w where the old one couldn't. And emulate the Super Nintendo at full speed. Disabling preview might help. But then I lose cam preview. Well, I think the cam's good enough. Let's let's see if that does anything. I mean, my like GUI said said that I wasn't dropping any, so I don't know what the deal is. Was it rendering lag or network? Well, no, it was happening in-game. Like, it, it wasn't just on your end, it was on my end, too. Sonic Forces also does stuff like that sometimes.
I missed two somewhere. Hmm, I don't know if it fixed it. Where's it? Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? I can try, uh... I can try a different hook, maybe. Oh no, that- I feel like that's worse. That's probably even worse than before. So, you are helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet, you have acquired a gem. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to f f focus a laser. Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you <laughs> from gathering crystals. <laughs> so yeah, that's the fella from the first game, I do believe. So he's, uh... He is no longer working for Cortex, which is good. I mean, not that there's anything we have to be suspicious of with Cortex. Hang on, just uh, looking at some options. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, frame frames seem a little stinky. Just just trying a, a couple things just real quick. All right. I forgot to turn the thing back on. Hmm. Hang on. I don't think it was. It might just be like that, I don't know. Because it won't let me like... It won't let me like, um... I forgot what I was gonna say. In entirely. But here, I'll you know, and I'll just I'll turn it off just to be safe. Can't it can't hurt. So, snow go. We went through that one. Let's go to hang eight. Whoa, dude, dude. Run like a surfing safari, dude. There's plants everywhere. There's water board. So this is a gimmick this game has. Yeah, you press X to boost. I don't want to boost right now, though. Got rumble. That's cool.
Oop. Yeah, I gotta use the slide there. First time you gotta use it, I think. No, you have to use it on the birds, may maybe. I don't know, this part's more blatant, though. Oh, and since we got the blue gym, we can take the gym path. I don't know if that's something I want to do, but it's something I can do. Well, there are boxes on this path. So yeah, this is something I didn't show off much of in Crash 1. There, were, there was a little bit of it, but it becomes much more of a thing in this game. Oh, so I'll probably stream more of that instead of just doing it off camera. Oh. Yeah, so the uh, the bonuses are checkpoints, so that's good. Let's go. Now we are surfing in hell. Surfing the love. Twice in a row I've done that exact same thing. I need to like stop or something. That might be a good idea. Oh, but look at the way it ripples in the water, though. Red. <laughs> well, that's a new one. gonna be ballsy but then the ball shriveled up gotta eh, gotta do that oh checkpoint here oh time to ride Gotta go back. If only there was a bonus for finding all death animations. Uh, there might be an achievement, but I haven't checked. I think I saw frames drop. Yeah, unfortunately, I think at least for this first stream, that might just be something we have to deal with. Because like, okay, here's the deal. I have to play this game in full screen because otherwise it will not render it will not render the full 60 frames now granted I suppose I could uh, I don't know if there's anything I can do over there I mean technically something I could do would be to change the settings on my monitor you know what I, yeah sure I'll try it here we'll uh, We'll change the settings on my monitor to temporarily make it, uh, temporarily make it 60, 60 FPS instead of 144. Problem is, I gotta remember under what menu that is. Like, it, it shouldn't be under brightness, contrast, or color control. Input control? Uh, display port mode? No, that's just like the display port standard. Oh, no, I didn't want to switch to HDMI. Thank you. Um, okay, now it's moved all my programs. OBS is lost. Hold on. 
Okay, gotta figure out where this is. Yeah, it's not under input. It's not under input control. I feel like it would have to be under image. Not, okay, not adaptive sync, dynamic contrast, black stretch. It's not response time either. And it can't be sharpness. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, power control. No, it's like auto sleep, power on recall, sleep timer, power LED, ambient lighting. Menu control. No. Management. No. Where is it? Maybe I have to set it. No, you know what? I probably have to set it in a uh, Windows. So let me get to my desktop. Where is it? Um, can I just minimize all program? Is that gonna work? Probably not. Probably not gonna work. Can I minimize crash? No, crash. Let me. Let me buy. You know what? We'll 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 finish this level. And then I'll close the game off and see if I can fix it. All right, let's go. Let's let's go, Bandicoot. That was a... Uh... There we go though, we got, we got that. Uh, what broke? Nothing broke, it's just the frame drops we were having. I was going to uh, set my monitor to be on 60 frames mode so that I could run the game at 60 windowed, hopefully. But we are still missing a gem there. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Activision, fix this. Please. But yeah, okay, so... Gonna Alt F4 that real quick. Got some Twitter notifications. Oh hey, some uh, some likes on the posts and some retweets. Uh, thank you, Ray Adam Rayman fan guy. Okay, move that over there. So enable preview back. Why not? Whatever. Display settings. Let's see. Advanced display settings. Display one is that one forty three hertz? What? Okay, so gonna change the hertz rate to sixty, which should hopefully make Crash not have a cow. Let's find out. Let's see if I can uh, run it at 60 frames and also have it in windowed. Oh, but I'm gonna have to reroute the game audio if it does work. So give me a minute, I, I'm aware that the game... Okay, windowed. And uh, let's set it to 720. Yeah, so that'll work. Okay, so reroute it back to my r routing route my phone. Do that for me. If you would. Oh, did I just turn VSync off? Or was it already like that? A Windows 720p 60. Hold on, I, I know it's small preview, don't worry. 
turn off motion blur. Yeah, I think everything else is good. So just gotta re-enlarge that. Since you guys are already watching at like a shrunk 720p, you're not gonna notice much a difference, which is which is good. So I mean, all seems, seems, all seems well, I think. But yeah, it'd be nice if Activision fixed this. I know they won't. Anyway, the pits. What kind of pits do you think we will see here? I don't know why I handled that <laughs> like I did, but I did. I don't know if I like the trail that happens when uh, Crash does the high jump. Granted, I agree that there should have been some kind of tell in the original game that you're doing it. But I don't know, something about it looks a little funky. A little bit of copy and paste from the original level. But that's okay, they were developing for the PS1 when this game came out, so they had to make some... They had to make some consolation. Oh, I know, I don't like this. Yeah, so... Gonna have to go down this path. I'm not gonna get over that noise. You know that's just one of the developers. Hmm, so where do the paths meet up? Was that bird, like, a cyborg? I don't think I've ever paid attention. Unless that's new for the remake. Oh, pfft, thanks. Alright, so here. Here is where the path meets up. Gonna want to hit this checkpoint. Because now we gotta go back. <laughs> yes, in, in Crash Bandicoot, we're gonna have to go back. I mean, it's not the first time, but... The game is not designed for this. A game in which you cannot rotate the camera. Footstep sound effects, that's, that's neat. Oh. Mm. Eh. Okay. No, sir, I don't like it. All right, here we go. Yeah, because if you want to get all the crates, you got to go down both paths, which is not the most convenient thing in the world. Almost fell into that pit, that would not have been good. But, once we hit this, we're in the clear. I don't know if that was added in the remake. Was there a button? Yeah. You press Y and you can get information on how much of the stuff you have. Which granted wasn't a feature in the original game. It was, it was a feature in Crash 3, but they added it back into the first two. Which is very nice of them. So now you can know ahead of time if you have failed the level. Like I said, I hope the car noises outside my window aren't too obnoxious. You guys probably shouldn't be out right now. Pretty sure that old quarantine is still going on. Alright, so, new type of crate. This is the uh, reinforced crate. You can only break it by doing this! Uh, probably. There's, there's, there's probably other ways to break it, but that's I think that's the most readily available method. Oh, 
Okay, so it's five before there's break. Oh. Yep. Of course. Of course I did. Like I said, though, they're nice enough to give you infinite tries on it. Thank you, Crash developers, for your moment of rare mercy. Oh, I forgot. Good thing I good thing I died then because I forgot. You have to leave them so you can go back. You gotta hit this and then go back. I will say Crash Two is ultimately less punishing than Crash One, but they they do they make you do some tricky stuff. Especially later in the game. Almost like they realize that... <laughs> Almost like they realize that... It being less punishing means that they can up the actual difficulty... Of the platforming challenges. Because, like, what you gonna do? You're not gonna... You got infinite tries at this, you're just gonna... You're not gonna get a game over, boy. Okay, so what I probably want to do is not touch one. I probably want to like... Oh. Want to like hit the middle. Yeah. Yeah, so then you can uh, go back up and then go back down with Minimal fear. Well, I mean, this is Crash Bandicoot. There, are, there's always fear. A little bit. It annoys me how you can't slide through this whole section. Like you, you're always going to be a little short. I mean, that one doesn't seem to be enough for my noise gate to pick up. Yeah, I think they fixed it. I think they fixed it in the remake to where you can't skip this. So it's funny in that, knowing that, it's funny that they didn't fix the bridge exploit in the first game. Maybe they figured that one was just too iconic. Anyway, got a crystal. We're all good on this level, I think. Well, I don't know. There might be a second crystal. I haven't been paying much attention. Also, I've been unlocking achievements, but Steam hasn't been telling me. I'm pretty sure you can't skip those until you get the speedy shoes. Well, I think that you could skip them in the original game, is what I mean to say. All right, Crash Dash. Like, you could skip them on any the original by uh, clinging to the side of the level geometry. Oh, yep, yeah, you know what kind of level this is going to be. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's all fine, man. I'm not, like, you know, I'm not upset or anything. I'm just clarifying. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, mine's... Yeah, so, still got boulders. Bowler level returns once again. But now we got electro walls. I don't know, there might have been electro walls in the original. I don't know. Crash one, I mean to say. Yeah, yeah, one of my most viewed clips comes from uh, one of these levels. Granted, not that that's saying a whole lot, but by my standards. I, I, I feel like there's a secret in one of these games where you have to go 
back after that, but I, I don't remember. Oh yeah, there's one of those that they like to make you do. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, right, <laughs> this is a boulder level. My bad. Okay, so dash pad. That's a new thing. Spelunky 2 development is going well and is likely to come out this year. Well, you know, that would be good. It, uh, good timing for it. I mean, granted, I could do some other t types of runs, but I mean, I honestly don't think I'm going to get a hell run done before the second game comes out. And I'm not really going to hold myself to do it <laughs> either. Like, I might try, but I'm not going to be like, oh no, the second game's out and I haven't done a hell run. Gotta do a hell run. What about multiplayer streamage? Could, could. I mean, we could, we could do both. We could try, uh... Killing two birds with one stone on that. Alright, so. We get a boss now, Ripper Roo. Now I'll tell you one thing. Oh, oh. Okay, now there was some connection frame drop. But I guess that just happens sometime. So in the original game, you would stand on the elevator and go up for the boss. But in the remake, they seem to have just made a portal appear. Granted, maybe it's just to have something fill the uh, save slot since that's not there anymore. Because originally, you would go over here to save your game, but now you just press L. Anyway, enough with that. Let's, let's fight Ripperu. He shouldn't play with nitro boxes, and neither should you. You may remember him from the first game as well. He was one of the bosses in that one. Oop. We nitroing. But I mean, hey, he seems to have a pretty a good career from the looks of things. So he's got that going for him. Professor of some kind. So, uh, you know, good on you, Ripper. Ripper-roo. Congratulations on the doctorate. Congratulations on the me being dead. I thought I was far enough from that. Apparently not. I guess it never pays, or it never hurts to be a little extra safe.
Yeah, you should probably do that. I just want to find out how he became a Ripper, how he became Ripperu in a Joker style movie slash game. It's Crash Bandicoot spinoff, Ripperu. Okay, there. Now I got the achievement, but it it appeared outside of the window. That's weird. You want to hear another joke, Cortex? No, no, I think we've had enough of your jokes. So now Crash can go up the elevator. Which we'll do. We're, we're missing a few things, but like... We'll, we'll come back for it. We'll come back for it. It's probably better once we have more of the gems. Oh, oh, okay, so in the original game, you pressed, like, up on the D-pad to do this. Now you gotta press the right button, which is probably a better choice, all things considered. Oh, yeah, I saved already. So, oh. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. 20 to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all 13 of them, and this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash! Okay, Jimmy. Okay, we can play as Coco in this game. I don't know how that will affect the plot. But, uh... I'm not sure which would be first. I guess Snow Biz. So whatever, let's play as Coco a little bit. Can't do that in the normal game, so. Okay, so we don't have the red gem yet. So I don't know if you need that in order to get 100%. All right, cool. <laughs> Glad I did that. Glad I did that too. Stick in Coco to the roof of the cave. Anyway, more snow. It's a winter wonderland. Where everything is grand. So we're getting some slightly trickier jumps. Oh, there's a hedgehog. Oh. Alright, his... his these quills need to not be out, I think. Oh, look, some more reflections. Looking good today. Except my, uh... My little, like, right suspender is still undone. Coco, please deal with that. I realize you're just... You're just an animal. And your brother is like half naked, but please. Reminder that at least one of the one or more of the devs referred to Crash One as Sonic's ass game. That is true. That is a fact. Well known fact about Naughty Dog, Sonic's ass game. Icicle. Fallen icicle. I mean, I'm. I think you gotta have the red crystal before you can uh, get all the crates. But I'm not positive, so I'm still getting whatever crates I see.
<laughs> Ice physics, eh? Yeah, we got some of those. Coco can stomp, right? Yes. Except, Crash does it with his stomach, she does it with her bottom. I mean, fair enough, How whatever gets the job done. Whatever gets those crates smashed. Now see, this is pretty high on the list of things I do not like. Okay, we got it. Okay, moving on. Seal. Seal. How long have I been going for? About an hour? Uh, okay, these, uh... These, uh, footprints, footprints are slightly misaligned with her. I wonder if they're, they're still using the texture for Crash. That would be pretty funny. Okay. Is it me or does her hair look like lighter than it's supposed to be right now? I might be just imagining things, I don't know. So since this Coco has come from the future, I suppose, I guess she's collecting the crystals because she knows everything turns out fine. Yeah, you cannot get even close to 100% in this level yet. Coco, Coco, come on. I don't know if Cortex will have, like, alternate dialogue for when I'm playing as Coco. This is uncharted territory for me. A perfect run up to a death platform. So this is probably going to be a new thing introduced here. The death platforms. Now, contrary to what you may believe, the name is a bit non-indicative. Uh, you get these platforms by not dying. So if you make it to a certain point in the level without dying, you get access to a special death route. Which I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the first try, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. Okay, this is the danger. This is the danger part. Okay. You think there's a bonus on the platform back there? Maybe. Crate showcase. I don't know. There might be. I hope I didn't. Know. I hope I didn't miss anything. Love how even if you're playing as Coco, you're still collecting Crash's head. I mean, they have a graphic for Coco's head. I don't know why they aren't using it. Okay, this I don't like. <laughs> All right, there's the death route up there. All right, got an achievement for that. Called cheated death in parentheses for the time being. Thank you for the vote of confidence game. Even though you're almost certainly right. 
Listen, it's not about whether or not the game is right. It's about the principle of the thing. And now I'm dead. <laughs> Thankfully, if you make it to the death route, then you're you're golden. I think. Like, it doesn't matter if you die after that. As long as you made it there in the first place. So let's try that again. The death roots are going to be challenging. As one would expect. <laughs> Thank you, Coco. Thank you for making the jump. So speaking of remakes, we have a another stream to look forward to in about a month's time. Well, actually, it's a bit longer than that since we're just starting May. So like maybe two months time, month and a half. Okay, there we go. Very exciting. I'm especially looking forward to that remake. It... Hope... I hope it ends up good. Okay, let's go. Okay, so that does count in restarting the level. Like, that's like a side crystal. Yeah, so that's a new thing. Sometimes there will be death routes where you just gotta get through without dying. Oh, we get, we get her equiv equivalent to the dance. Gotta love the crash dance. Okay, so we gotta go back in and try and get the regular crystal. Could do a time trial, but I'm not, because if Greeny is to be believed, there's an upgrade that makes that a lot easier and I probably don't want to do it without it. But I trust him, he has not led me astray. Oh, okay, so... I see what you're talking about. Yeah, so that's a secret. <laughs> so... We get a path to uh, Snowgo. So unlike the original game, you can actually see what portals are here. So Totally Bear and Totally Fly are two levels exclusive to this, whereas the rest are like alternate entrances. So this will take us to Snowgo, which I can only assume is the secret path. So let's go, let's do the secret pet. Oh. I am surprised I made it out of that interaction unscathed. Didn't make it out of that one though. That one did not go well. Oh, but I got another Aku Aku. Hey, you can't spin, only we can do that. I suppose I don't have any reason to gatekeep the spinning ability. I don't know how you get that. <laughs> God, the ice physics. So this whole escapade is indeed an escapade.
I probably want to save that mask. Is there were there were there crates back here that I needed to get? I'm not seeing any. Granted, I'm on the secret path. I don't know. I I don't know if this counts for anything. I haven't gotten any crates so far. I hope Vicarious Visions makes the next Crash game because this sold pretty well. I hope so too because they seem like they're pretty good at it. Though. I mean, it seems like right now they're just interested in making a bunch of remakes. Which, I mean, is cool to an extent, but I do kind of like... I would kind of like a new Crash game in this style. Okay, so do we see anything besides Nitro? On this path. I gotta pay attention to that. Oh, thank you for the lives. Oh. All right, continue my invincibility streak. Fall in the pit and die. Start the whole thing over. Greet. Well, I guess we can confirm whether or not whether or not there's any crates on this path, because I don't. I honestly don't remember. But it, I'm getting a no vibe. I'm. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be sassy. I think the Spyro and Crash Team Racing remakes were made by different dev teams, though. Oh, well, honestly, I have no idea. But either way, it's up to the rights holder. Which I believe is still Activision. It's a shame that uh, Crash Team Racing had the microtransactions in it, because... I don't know. That seemed pretty cool, but I also don't want to support that kind of behavior. Oh, okay, cool, I'm dead. Like, okay, if you're putting microtransactions in a mobile game, it's stupid, I hate it, but I also understand. However, with... It's like, if you're having a retail game, then, I don't know, if I'm already paying $60 admission, I don't think you should have those in there. Oh, that's cool. That's radical and bodacious. Not too late for you to show up. Nah, man, we're only about an hour in. Hour and 20 minutes, so you, you, you got at least a good 40 minutes of stream still to see. Also, thank you. That being said, hopefully it doesn't disrupt your sleeping too much. I mean, I won't be your mom. Oh, yeah, this is this is a challenge right here. Oh, <laughs> oh also, hello, integer bang. You, you've come just in time to witness horrible failure. Admittedly, this is not, this is not a free, a free gym. Uh. These penguins and walruses are gonna guard it with their life. That, no, that's a seal, not a walrus. Walruses of tusks. They're, they're similar animals, but ultimately distinct. I mean, granted, they say that about alligators and crocodiles, though, and I'm still not convinced. I'm still not convinced those are different animals. Okay, so if you get the if you get the mask, though, you can just like you can just like book it. is overpricing ports on Switch. Yeah, though I could also I could also give Nintendo a talking to or two about that one. Like there is no reason that new Super Mario Brothers U should still be $60. Especially when <laughs> Yeah, tropical freeze. 
Granted though, at least in that instance, I'd say Tropical Freeze is well worth it if you haven't played it before. Okay, so I don't think there was anything but Nitro in there. So it probably doesn't really count for the crates. So I don't know if you can just exit out of the level, so I'm going to try and finish it just to be safe. Maybe if I have an easier one, then I'll try it, but... I actually think in SMBU is the best in the series. Well, maybe, but it also doesn't bring a whole lot to the table. Granted, uh, New Super Mario Brothers is a weird series. At least in a meta sense. It's not weird in terms of its content, but in a meta sense, it's weird. Probably will end up uh, playing the original New Super Mario Brothers soon, but I was debating if I wanted to do that before revisiting Mario Maker, because as everyone in this chat knows, I, you know, there's, there's an update to that. Wait, what's, what's down? Wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Oh well. Either way, that's that's a thing. In the, in the original, you couldn't really go back to that. You had to find another secret exit if you wanted to get that again. But I guess the remake changes it to where you can just go back if you mess it up. Which, granted, is probably a good change. <laughs> like, nostalgia absolutely disregarded. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I got the I'm confused. Oh, oh, that's right, there was like a path there. Okay, so probably need to go back to Air Crash and do the actual regular path. Yeah, the multiplayer is a little weird in Mario Maker. Still, still probably gonna mess around with it, though. That being said, definitely approve of the uh, new world functionality. Even if I wish that they would change or add a couple things to it. Mostly secret exits. Because, I mean... I guess the thing is, a secret exit only really has a purpose in, in... Well, I mean, I guess you could still put one in your regular level, but it, you know, if you wanted another thing for people to find. Of course, it doesn't serve much of a gameplay purpose besides just, hey, can you find it? But in a world, though. And yeah, the fact that it's the final update, in my opinion, is kind of dumb. Like, like, okay. They've added a decent amount of content, but, I mean, not anything that's made me go like, Whoa, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, like the world, the world creator was close to that, but I feel like... I don't know, I feel like, I don't feel like Nintendo was breaking their backs over it or anything. And I don't know. Personally, I've had an issue for a while that Nintendo, I feel like Nintendo does not support their games very long, like the ones that have an online component. And yes, I know, I know, Nintendo doing something weird regarding online, say it ain't so. But I mean, really though. Like, like it takes, om it took almost no time for like Splatfest to end. Yeah, Super Mario Party never got a content update, even though it was in desperate need of one. I mean, I will say, I'm glad that M Mario Party has returned to form in a way. But, 
Super Mario Party, the, if they're going to keep going with that, it... Okay. So, as much as an, it is an improvement, in my opinion, over the Formula 9 and 10 employed, it, it's not without its flaws. Like, I can't remember exactly what all they were, but I remember some, something with coins. Like, I feel like coins were either under or overpowered. Like, you, you either got too few or too many. I'm not sure. I feel like it was too many. I don't know. Okay, I'm I'm missing something here. Is it the death root? Was there a was there a nitro box? Do you hmm? Was there? Yeah, because the nitros are still here. Oh, well, I have killed myself, so I guess I'm going to get another look. See, like I don't know. You might have to. Uh, you might have to, like, go into the death route and then leave, I'm not sure. In which case, I may just save that for later. Come back to this. But I'm going to double check to make sure I didn't miss anything towards the goal. It seems that a theme with Mario games on Switch is ret them returning to what made them great. And I think you know what I want next. Oh, I know what you mean, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, so I'm thinking that's on the death route. So I may come back to that. No, actually, uh, actually I should probably do it now. Because when I'm going back through... The levels, I'm going to be looking at the stores and all that, so... I don't know what I'm saying. You know you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. So I probably need to go on the death route. I mean, I don't think most would argue that Mode 7 is what made Mario Party great. Also, yeah, something I didn't really touch upon when I got it. Yeah, Crash Crash 2, you, you figured it out, definitely, but Crash 2 does have a couple secret exits. And unfortunately, most of them are un unmarked. So you just gotta, you just gotta feel them out. Thankfully, though, they're in pretty, like, suspicious-looking places. And I mean, also, I just know where they are, uh, most of them. So that, that probably helps a lot. <laughs> oh, you can do that. I see. Oop. 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 That's a big jump. Okay, let's see. Now where where's it where is it again? Oh, it's up there. Okay. So just gotta make it to the death route. Come on, rise back up. Come on. Okay, go to the death route. Now let's make it through here. I can't remember if there's a nitro destruction box on this. But I guess we'll find out. We'll we'll remember together. <laughs> That's a tricky bit right there. Oh, it returned me to the the bonus. I I got it. I get the picture. I will say, I, I'm very happy about a lot of games having a sort of return to form lately. I mean, some of them have just been remakes, like this one. 
and some have been like entirely new games like Mario Odyssey but either way we were kind of in in my opinion a bit of a dark period for a while where the games were getting a little stinky <laughs> crash until they returned to this crash got especially weird Okay, so no. Does is there a checkpoint in this? I can't remember. No. Okay, so I must have missed the nitro detonation switch somewhere. So, let me keep an eye out for that. I don't... I don't see it. Okay, I'm missing a lot of crates. Could, could those all be nitros? Do I have to find a different place? It could be that there's like a secret... secret entrance, so to speak. Admittedly, I did not remember which ones were listed. But I'm gonna keep an eye out. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything, so let's... Yeah, you think there is a synchronous engineer? Well, then I'll, I'll go off of that assumption and just leave. Alright, so bear it. Okay, so here's a secret. You gotta be a monster here. Oh, Coco not allowed. No Coco allowed level. Okay, so we got... We got uh, one of this going again, one of these kind of levels. I don't know why B is the boost button. Well, probably B for boost, but I don't like it. I'm dead. Nope, gotta get the crates. Polar bears uh, have short memories, what can we say? Oh. So yeah, this is basically the spiritual successor to the pig levels from the first game. Okay, cool. It's interesting to see how these are hear how these new song these blah, these remixes or covers of the old song sound. Yeah, getting getting all the crates here is slightly a pain because you miss one, you just gotta die. Like so. Can't wait to see you do this in the dark. Oh god. Do not remind me. Oh. I don't like it. Or... I don't like it. <laughs> I 
Okay, thank God the tip of his toe touched that one. Okay, there we go. Jim and Crystal. Okay, can we speed this up, Crash? Oh. Whoop. Gotta let him do the dance, though. Speaking of which, I, I think I've had enough playing as Coco for now. There you go. Crash Crush. Crash Crushed Mash Mush. Oh, okay. Another one of these, pardon me, by the way. But this time, no, it's a boulder. The famous boulder level. Why do they even put the, uh, why do they even put the multi-hit crates there? Like, who's gonna, who in their right mind is going to stop and be like, oh yeah, I should, uh, I just hit a checkpoint, right? Okay, no, that's not it. <laughs> I saw the shoes of the previous crash. Confirmed, this is an entirely new Bandicoot. Crash is cloned every time he dies. I am surprised that worked. Okay, side path. A little bit of a side... A side path of sorts. A side goal. A side mission. Oh. Oh, we gotta run. Oh, oh no, hit the mine, hit them, hit the mine. It's not this, well, we should probably use this for a checkpoint. Very wacky music we got going on here. I mean, I guess it is a bonus. No, really, why are these never short enough <laughs> to make with just a single slide? Like, that's not, that's very unsatisfying. I don't trust that jump, which is why I'm going over here. Do not trust. Jump is not trusted. The one where the bridge doesn't break completely. Ah. Uh. Also, I'm sad because Crash's stomp or Crash's slam animation, while still quite humorous, is not quite as funny as it is in the PS1 original. There's just something about his vacant stare in that one that makes that animation so incredible. Granted, it, it probably doesn't help that Crash doesn't have like two polygons for teeth anymore. And instead has many. 
because we can afford them, Dagnabbit. I didn't spend four years coding out of a basement for Crash to not have individually modeled teeth. That is just a rude crate. That is a very rude crate. Arrgh! Thank you, Miles. Okay, so... So next level, we're gonna get everybody... Oh. Uh, so this level, we're gonna get everybody's favorite level trope. And normally, normally this would be sarcastic, but I think it actually is everybody's favorite in Crash 2. A special gem hides behind something fake. The sewer! And the level is named such because there are eels. Oh wow, this special effect actually looks half decent now. In the, in the original game, it just turned the water like bright yellow, and I'm sure, I'm sure I don't have to tell you that didn't really look like uh, electrified water per se. Also, some of the best music in the game. Which is a little on the quiet side. Wonder should I, uh... Uh... Eh, maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, so... You just gotta get that one crate in a room full of nitro crates. Game in general could probably be slightly louder. I don't know, do I trust you? Sure, I'll trust you. Well, here, I'll, I can still do it. There you go. Oh, we're going down. A lot of shadows on this place. I remember when this game was just coming out, or like it was just being unveiled, and the lighting looked god awful, <laughs> and everyone was like, like, dudes, hire hire a lighting guy. Well, apparently they, they did. <laughs> they did do that. <laughs> Before I end the stream, I might want to, I might want to look up what the prototype of this game looked like to show you, if you don't remember or didn't see it. Or is it here that's very non-suspicious? Oh no, you have to go, you have to take a side route here to, uh, get the crystal. You could, you could go through the whole level and not get the crystal, which is funny. <laughs> because most of the crystals are very free. Ooh. 
All rats. The rats. Oh man, I didn't mean to break that one. Good. Going down. Anything back here? Not really. Oh, got it. we gotta <laughs> cling to stuff. Everybody's favorite game mechanic. And they give you a nice little place here to try it out. It's gotta be hell on your fingers. Then again, maybe I'm just out of shape. All right, so so this part of the sewer is where the molten poop goes. All right, got it. Tomorrow, my mouth and tomorrow in my... <laughs> oh, the game just swaps crash out whenever a cutscene happens. Of 25 crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Yeah, so the game just I wanted I wanted to know and the game just swaps Coco out for Crash whenever whenever they have it. Oh. Okay, so I can't go back in the eel deal until I have fought the Komodo brothers. So I guess I will fight the Komodo brothers. Pretty sure they're new to this game. Unlike Ripper Roo. Okay, so this is the kind of boss we're dealing with right now. Honestly, a bit easier to deal with than Ripper Roo. I mean, there are some series where the bosses are just not really their strong suit. Crash is one of them. Komodo no mo. At least better than the first game's bosses. I, I, will, I will give it that. I will give it that. Especially Papu Papu. Okay, so let me save real quick. And we're still missing a gem in here, and I know where to get it. So let's uh, just let's just make a quick, quick trip here. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to hit that. Okay, that was just clumsy. Very K clumsy. I thought you could kill those guys. All right, so yeah. So this room full of nitro boxes, you might think, okay, why would there be nitro all the way over there if you really just want this one crate? Well, the answer is that you don't just want the one crate. Because there's a hidden path this way.
secrets video game secrets all right so you know what i'm gonna test it here oh hang on i'm gonna test it here if you leave do you keep the gym No, you don't. <laughs> okay, well, good to know, at least. If I had known that, that it was going to end in a dead end, I would have just gotten it before I beaten the, before I had beaten the level. Oh, well, hindsight's twenty twenty. We'll just, we'll just go through it real quick. Once more. One more time with feeling. Probably need to try killing these enemies on the first time through because otherwise I'm gonna have problems. Oh, I didn't realize I was not safe there. Oh boy. Not fun going back. Oh, they actually gave the, the eel an animation. I don't think it did anything in the original game. It just like, you know, waved back and forth there. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad I did that. I knew that was coming. Do I keep the gem? No. <laughs> oh boy. But we do need it. Do need the gem. I mean, that's what I get for not being careful around Nitro. I mean, one of these days we'll get it. Wait a minute, I do have it. But the gym was green. It was green! Well, I mean, I guess if I have it... Is there... Do, is there any way for me to know? Do I press this? No? Oh, no, it's at the bottom there. Okay, so I do still have it. Okay. Would have would have liked to have known that. Oh, that's red. That's bodacious. Absolutely bodacial. Don't worry, we're almost out. We're reaching the edge of tomorrow. I'm surprised I did not get hit there. Well, either way. Hmm. 
another colored gym makes getting 100% all the easier. All right, what's what's up next? What's on the next floor? Plant food. Oh. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal, but now's not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Okay, plant food. And there's a yellow... Beat the timer to earn a special gem. Oh, right, I remember this one. But let's just do the normal level first. Oh, oh, don't slip off, Crash. I know you and that rounded hitbox have your issues, but let's let's not go slipping. I touched that hippo. That hippo responded to me. Responded to my presence. I was robbed. I've been gypped. I've been smickledorfed. You know, now that I'm playing in windowed, I'm realizing that I could move the chat closer to me. Which I will, which I will now do. Because the power is mine. I control the chat. Yeah, so this is one of the only cases of mandatory speedrunning in Crash 2. In 3, it becomes... Well, even then, it's not mandatory, but if you want to get some, like, bonus content... Oh my god! <laughs> Can we just not... What was that noise? I don't know. I don't care. Moving on. Oh, that's where the timer starts. Yeah, it's especially weird because you can press X to boost here, but not on the bear, and I don't understand why. I think his name is just Polar, which is, uh, I mean, not overly surprising. Took some slight damage. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to beat the timer on the initial run. This this bonus is just how how afraid of you are TNT. What? I'm having a stroke. How afraid of TNT are you? How much fear is in your heart, little man? <laughs> okay, so this one is a trap because you don't want to go in there right away. You wanna you wanna go over here and collect these crates or break them, I guess, not collect them. Collecting the crates is not a thing we are doing. At least to my knowledge. If we're collecting the crates, then man, I have been doing it very wrong. Oh, you can just press all buttons to uh, do a boost on the jet board. The super duper jet board. <laughs> Aren't you glad I'm just so great at all video games?
Just wondrous. Crash Bandicoot 2, the Nitro Reel. Nah, it, it's fine if you ask people about stuff. I mean, you're one of you're one of the editors. It wouldn't be fair if I was just like, no, no, no. You must be quiet. You must obey my command. Okay, so let's uh, let's do a speed run. Speed run time. Not that one. Not not that speed run. I don't know where. I forgot where the timer started. I mean, obviously not. Well, I mean, it might already be started, it's just invisible. I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, so we got... we got it going. So just keep... keep boosting. Can probably... yeah, just jump over that. Okay, come on, we're running, we're running ever so slightly out of time. That wasn't a good use of it. Okay, yellow gem retrieved. And I mean, if any of you guys ever have any, like, videos or anything you want to, you know, like, put up on the... You know the abridged channel. I mean, just let me know. I mean, I'm, I may not just you know say just just for just to future proof this statement. I may not accept anything you send my way. Like I don't know, but I mean, hey, it wouldn't hurt. All right, sewer later, which also has a secret gem of some kind. Probably gonna stop playing. Before too long. Okay, yeah, earn a separate path. Get a separate path by earning the yellow gem. There's no eel in there, so it's okay. Oh, it's this guy. Urgh. Yeah, so in the game files. At least, uh, in one of these games, and one of the files, now, profanity warning, that guy is referred to as OBJ underscore motherfucker. I kid you not. Oh, they gave him an original scream. In the original game, I think he just did the Howie scream. You know, one of those stock screams. I'm almost disappointed they got rid of it. Okay, well, there's the yellow gym path. Now, 
nothing this way besides uh, being able to look at Crash's lovely face. Okay, so this one is in just a perpetual state of electrification. Oh. As is this one, which I'm less knowledgeable about how to deal with. I don't know if you could just die and go back to the regular level and still keep the gem. I mean, I had the colored one. Oh, well, this is going to take me back up. Probably shouldn't concern myself too hard with getting all the crates because I've almost certainly missed some back there. Yeah, I'm just going to do this again. Just... <laughs> but we got yet another colored gem. So it's going a lot smoother than Crash 1 did in that regard. Oh, no, wait, that wasn't a colored gym. That was just a regular gym. Either way. Well, we gotta go back in to get the uh, crystal and the regular gym. Wait a minute. Were there any regular crates on the gym path? I don't even remember. I think there might have been, actually. So, I guess the smart thing to do would be to go get the ones on the regular path and then double back for the gym path. So let's just take care of these guys real quick. Oh, I don't like this arrangement. Okay, and there's the checkpoint up there, so... Gotta go through the bonus. Hit the checkpoint, then go through the gem path. Oh, gotta crawl back like the pathetic fool that I am. That's what we're running with with this bonus stage, I see. Okay, so technically I'm missing six, but I'm pretty sure they're all nitro. I don't feel like those should be counted, honestly, but... Okay, yeah, this this part's weird, because you gotta, like... Oh, oh, that's right, they respawn, and you gotta, like, keep hitting them in there. But we're going back. Hoop! And then watch, I'm, I'm totally wrong. I'm totally wrong, and there are not, there's not a single crate in that entire, entire thing. Oh, okay. Well, that's a problem. You know what, well, let's run with that theory. And see where it gets us. I mean, I don't know. There's 
If there are crates on that path, there's got to not be many of them. Yeah, I probably could have just gotten this on my first run. There we go, there's the crystal. Um, okay, there's two crates that are missing. I don't know if you get a switch on the other path to make those appear. I don't know. Some of these gems are kind of all kinds of convoluted. Oh yeah, because there's, there's switches right there. Oh, oh! <laughs> I didn't remember them doing that. Yeah, it seems like I don't need to go on that path. I just hope the last one I'm missing is down this one. Yep, there we go. There we go. Nice, nice gem progress. Cortex is coming to pay us one more visit. Oh, no. Oh, goodness! I hacked into Cortex's computer and found detailed schematics for an improved Cortex Vortex and a suspicious-looking space station. I'm not sure, but Cortex might be trying to... I'm not sure it's nothing to worry about. Anyway, I want to check something out real quick. One more thing before we uh, qu quit. There's, well, actually, there's two little things I want to take a look at. Hang on, once I get this, get, get out of here, Xbox widget. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see if I can find what I want to find about this. Hmm. Hang on, where's my chat? Put the chat back. Put the chat back. No, don't put it up there. Okay, I'm trying to find what it is I'm looking at. Well, I'm looking for. Hmm, I'm having a hard time finding it. Oh yeah, cool. I remember I remember this where they just announced that the game was in development. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm having a hard time finding that one. But also, this is what this is the noise that OBJ motherfucker originally made. Oh, hang on. Gotta unmute it. Yeah.
Just in case you are unfamiliar. Anyway, I guess I'll be it for now. Be do some other stuff some other time. See you.